I, I have a clause in my will that they can dig me up and prop me up like Weekend at Bernie's. It'll be like Weekend at Luke's uh, to be in the episodes. Even a vocal, a vocal team, Jess, when it comes to Rory's storylines. Why is that? He's my nephew. You know, I love the kid. You know, he's, he's blood, and uh, you know, and I like my lot. And and uh, uh, not that I don't like Jared or, or Matt. It's just, it's just, you know, I worked with him a lot, and I always enjoyed it. And uh, I, just, I don't know. I just. You know, as a young person, I, I relate most to, uh, I mean, it's it's kind of like, I was like a combo of Dean and Jess uh, when I was growing up. I was soulful and poetic, and uh, uh, but I also had that sort of edgy kind of Kerouac thing and um, did want to go on the road and I did go on the road at a very young age. Uh, so, I, so I relate to that uh, very strongly. Um, so yeah, I just, you know, it's, it's, it's family, you gotta stay with family. It's the big, you know, debate always, are you are you open to potentially changing your mind with this rewatch? Because as someone who's rewatched the show several times, it took me a very long time to come to the conclusion that I'm Team Logan. <laughs> wow, no way, that is, that's a bridge too far. Not I just think Rory likes him the most, that's all I'm saying. No, I mean, maybe, maybe her younger, I, I mean, who, I mean, I don't know, no. God, no, no. I just think that character's so smug, you know? And I just don't, yes, I think in her DNA, she probably needs that, you know, because she's a, she's a Elmore, right? And, uh, uh, but I don't know. I think, I think to, to honor her mother, how her mother brought her up, I think it's a little more, mm, I think it's more changed. Yeah, <laughs> the baby also <laughs> the big debate always I feel like that comes up and Matt Zuckery actually said he knows but he wouldn't say who it was do you know right uh who the baby no I don't who the, who the father of the baby I have no idea I have no idea I have no idea hey you he want has- a storyline she, she she has the baby uh whoever the baby is if it's Logan or whatever then you know he he flips out and goes away just you know history repeats itself a la Christopher and Laura um and then, but the and then she goes off to pursue uh, huge opportunities in Europe for her her writing, and dumps the baby in our lap, and we get to raise the kid a little bit while she's off pursuing. And she comes back, and that kind of how's that? A, that's a good storyline. I on, watch it. Yeah, there <laughs> yeah. uh, you yeah. So do you want you? I assume you you are down to do more if the opportunity ever presents itself. Could you tell? Could you tell? <laughs> well, Lauren Graham just said she has a clause in all her contracts that if there is ever an opportunity for more Gilmore Girls, she's has to be available to do it. So that's a good sign, right? I, I have a clause in my will that they can dig me up and prop me up like Weekend at Bernie's. It'll be like Weekend at Luke's uh, to be in the episodes. I love that. Um, <laughs> obviously, you just pitched the pitched the storyline, but is there anything specifically that you would want for Luke if they did more that maybe you didn't get to do in the first go around or get to do now? You know, that's an interesting question. Um, I would want to explore uh, my relationship with my father um, and my parents in general. And, and you know, we're so focused on, on uh, you know, Richard and Emily and now, now Emily um, that I think a new set of parents needs to come in. And I think they could be, well, obviously, um, um, you know, and here's here. I am so ill-informed about the episodes okay. at this point that I do need to watch him because I don't even know if my father's dead or not. I think he is. <laughs> he is. By the way, he is. Yes, thank you for talking. I don't remember if what they say about his mom, but that's the whole taking over the hardware store into the diner. But the mom, yes. but the mom could be alive, right? Yeah. I, 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 I mean, I mean, you could get you could get some, you could get Meryl Streep to come in and play my mom. Even in like flashbacks. Work, yes. More Liz and, and TJ. I, they were. Yeah, away. they could give. They could give me another horrible wig, and I could play the younger version of myself with my dad, you know, throwing the football around. Or Milo could play the younger version of you, and you could like reflect on it in present day. Why not? Why not? I mean, you know, anything's possible. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I. But I think I would like because it's like we have a lot of uh, we have a lot of the Gilmore thing happening. Let's do it. In, you know, let's. How about Danes dudes? <laughs> like Gilmore Girls, like a maybe a spinoff, Games Dudes. 
Sounds good to me. Um, <laughs> you said today and on the first episode of your podcast, which I listened to, that your favorite scenes are like the sledgehammer with Milo and some of the more physical stuff. But do you have a favorite Luke Lorelai sentimental moment that you can remember? The Santa burger, the ice rink, when he was there for Rory a thousand times. Listen, uh, I know there's an obvious, uh, there's a couple of obvious answers to this question. Uh, but I am always, always, always going to go with uh, the very first time that we see those two together in the diner. And she comes up and please leave this. And I say, you have a problem. You know, you know, uh, how many cups have you had? You know, this kind of thing. Because it says everything about the relationship. It says everything about the, the sexual tension between the two and how we played it and and the way she played it. And it was just it was just absolute perfection and it was the moment i realized that i was going to have a lot of fun working with lauren um and that the work was going to be on a very high level um and that's what you hope for you hope to get a partner that's that skilled and that you know in the scene <laughs> present in the scene and uh um so that's always my favorite moment between the two of us is, is, is that that moment right there